Hello and welcome to this reaction of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. We are on season two, episode eight. Yeah, kind of enjoying it. Uh, I had a lot more fun with the last episode than most episodes of this season. There doesn't seem to be any kind of like through line, I guess, other than maybe Spock exploring his humanity. So it is what it is for old heads like me. Uh, I'm just here to watch and, you know, you guys to laugh at me. So uh, last episode was the crossover between uh, the cartoon, which I'm just drawing really blank on right now, Lower Deck, and our crew of Pike's crew. And eh, it was pretty good. It was pretty interesting. I think they played the characters pretty well, but apparently there's some growth that I need to catch up on with those characters. So without further ado, let's get to the show. The Enterprise has arrived at the Prospero system for a rendezvous with the Kelsey May in order to pick up a special visitor. Prospero has been under Starfleet jurisdiction since the end of the Klingon War. Our orders are to make him feel welcome However, our esteemed guest is a Klingon. <laughs> a former okay. general who defected to our side. My head of security is ready to escort you to quarters. Captain Christopher Pike, if you wouldn't mind, I've heard so many great things about the Federation flagship. Could I trouble you for a brief tour of the ship? The Summit of Scorpi-10, the Klingon Free Trade Agreement, negotiating the Pere yep. I didn't mean to hit a nerve. It's okay. You're right. I don't really know what he's about. All I know is the stories, like that he killed his own men to cover his retreat. There's a reason other Klingons call him the Butcher of Jagal. Captain on the bridge. Could have did that before he walked ten feet in. I bet it's fun to fly. <laughs> Lieutenant Erica Ortega's here as our senior officer at the helm. Yeah. Chief of ship lieutenant, and I'm sure it's in good hands. Thank you, sir. I do my best. Captain. May we continue the tour? I don't want to distract your bridge crew from their duties. Yeah, come on, horror! You couldn't say something like stop. My distaste for the past colors my words. No, I appreciate this kind gesture and I would love to try the Rectogeno. How did I know? I couldn't remember the name, but I knew it was the coffee. Ambassador, our dermal regenerator will patch that up in no time. Uh oh. You couldn't warn these two? few Stop years ago. Taking her down around the east side, approaching from the south. Lowering blast shields. Where are the landing pads? It's too hairy down there, so we drop you in transit. It's the safest way to get you on the ground. Was she jumping and rolling? Oh, transporting. <laughs> I should have figured. Christine Chapel. I'll run it up the flagpole and see if it quacks. Right. Ah, sounds good. You can also ask Joseph. <laughs> Joseph. I love that guy. Chief medical officer. But Joseph, he does a lot around here. Uh, where's the head nurse? I should report in. You haven't heard? Congratulations, head nurse chapel. Me? I just got here. Well, you got the most experience of anybody on the staff. We, no, we call it Tent City. I think you see why. It's not home, but it'll do. That. You've been assigned Echo 25. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, buddy. What's your name? Stay with me. Over. He's Over. dead. Excellent. He needs immediate attention. Nope. Internal bleeding. Yep. We need to get him off the pad. And if we don't, more people will die. When the convoy gets here, the starship will have a surgery bay. Just hang tight on the road, okay? We need to do something. Load his pattern into the buff. We can keep his suspended in there until the starships arrive. Just log. USS Enterprise. Star date 1875.8. Biobet 2 has shut down again. Ever since the gone attack at Finibus 3, it hasn't been the same. You could have just called. My center yep. yeoman. Mm. 
Gonna check on you. To check in with you. Yep. Because of our crank on visitor. I know you and Chapel were both stationed on Chagall, where Rob earned his reputation. We have to make him feel welcome here, and we will. But I don't want that to come at the personal expense of anyone on the crew. I'm fine. As for Chapel. Oh, hey. All good here too, Captain. Thank you. I appreciate you both being there. See you tonight. I can't believe he agreed to that. He's in cardiac arrest. We're losing him. Manual stimulation. What? Grab his heart and start pumping. Transport. How? I've got a bad poker face and I don't like someone. I need to bail. Why didn't you just tell the captain no? Why didn't you? There's a chance, General. Sometimes you pretend something long enough. It becomes the truth. Ooh, what a so line. Let's pretend the war doesn't bother us. At least for tonight. <laughs> Put on the Starfleet face. That's it's easier said face. than done. You are under duress. Huh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Is it true that all peace negotiations must include drinking blood wine in excess? Peace is not a destination. It's a journey. It's a state of mind. Good. Oh, good Ambassador Ra. Are you familiar with the ancient Earth text, Sun Tzu's The Art of War? Most inspired human masterpiece. I would love to hear your views on its comparison with the Klingon manuscript, Na'el Parmak Koj. This is the most excellent topic of conversation, Mrs. Park. Yes. My father taught me war and bloodshed, but my brother taught me to see. Oh, it's a struggle. You better make that too. My hands are double. Even better. Just feel it. I Someone squeezed my heart with their fingers. Someone did. Where are you from, Ensign? New Angeles. Terra Luna? We're a long way from the shipyards. Tell them to stop sending people. Nobody sent me. In fact, they said you'd turn me down if I tried. Good. We're done here. What are you doing hiding behind the wire? Everyone knows the stories. Most hand-to-hand -hand kills confirmed. I'm just a doctor now. Just a doctor I now. I'm saving lives to take in them. And I need quick and silent. I need you. I give you my answer. Protocol 12. You was discontinued. And Starfleet won't make it anymore, but I heard you still have some. I simply told him the truth of who I am who I was, and what the Federation did for me that saved my life. And Jigal changed me. Jigal changed a lot of us. You were on Jigal. I was, in the final conflict. And the massacre of Colony Athos. Then you both know my pain all too well. Those were difficult times to the survivors of Jigal. Klingon Mahta. Judge, we are Klingon. May we endure? Remain Klingon. Remember that? It was our battle cry during the war. I've heard worse. Now I am simply hoping to make up for my past and, and connecting with others who, who need healing like you. That was the wrong thing to say. Yeah. Yes. I love the E and R. Whatever. Good job, Captain. Captain. Doctor, maybe you should check on Erica as well. Temple might need a hand calming her down. All right, Captain. Your security officer, Laan. She tells me that the two of you are practicing full impact Mokbara. And I was wondering if we might arrange a session. I'll check my schedule. Oh, that could be bad. We fight for them. We fight hoping it doesn't change us. Hoping... 
come home different. But if we don't fight, we don't win. I wish we could stop this without all this dying. We have to fight. Don't we all? So the people we, we all. love can have a chance to live in peace. Command thinks this is our chance to take control of Jagal. Trust seems going dark to find the local generals while ground units mount a huge offensive near Colony Athos to provide cover. All they need is meat for the grinder. Thanks for the patch up, Joe. Hi, kid. Stay low. Fight hard. None of this is about you. You just see me going through something and our closeness makes you feel responsible. You're not. I understand. Does he? War, it, it doesn't leave you. It, it can it can bury itself, but it's it's always there. I researched to go. Systems route everything to the pads. A purge of backlogs, but it should work. Incoming Do it. transport. Incoming transport. Incoming transport. Those all those people you've been trying to save. No, no, uh, the transport buffer. Uh, Alvarado's in there. Uh. Pattern deleted. Power restored. Transport initiated. No. What did you do? We saved lives. Yep. He made the hard choice. I must admit, I thought you might decline my invitation. It crossed my mind. The Klingon Judo is good exercise. Are you sure you're up for full impact? I'm more virile than I appear. You make it look easy. You don't put something like Jigal behind you, but you learn from it. Ooh. Okay. Were you coming out here, bringer of death or whatever they called you? Oh. Did you really kill your own man? We were under attack. The leaders under my command decided that all tactical options were viable. Most of the casualties on the Hantos were civilians. I am aware. Killed my own men because I was appalled by those atrocities. You were against three Klingon warriors. Who fought the hardest? Why he has the cane? He got stabbed in the leg. Beth, my entire family—they're killing everyone. Holy smokes! You're the ghost. I need you. I knew he was gonna see that kid again. How can we represent a federation that believes in peace if we say some people aren't allowed to make up for their past? I agree with you in the abstract, but the people he hurt, some of them right here in this crew, might not find forgiveness so easily. It isn't fair for us to ask them to just let it go. Jagal is burning. We are all leaving. The convoy is warping in. You can use this to find me. Don't bring me out until you have to. I told myself I don't want to go home different. My family deserves better. You make them pay. Oh, he's not going to save people. <laughs> Good luck. This is where she's used it in the past. I'm okay with that. 
I don't need to know any more than I already do. Now, please go away. I thought that as victims of the horrors of Jigalda. Stop! Don't let hate ruin your soul. You gave the order! Anyone not a Klingon soldier is the enemy. You gave the order. Yes, this is true. Kif didn't fight the hardest. It was Captain Release. He held me back while you made your escape. He turned me into a monster. I told you I was there. I am the butcher of Jagal. What? All of this time. All of this time you've said nothing. When I was at my lowest, the Federation was there. I need it, and they need me. I have a well, purpose now. He's Why gonna don't kill him. Don't do it in Benga. Don't do it. Why couldn't you leave me alone? Let me have a chance to help you heal. I said no. Don't be stupid. You're welcome. Get your shit. Get your hands off. Okay. I was there. Saw the whole thing. Ra wanted to talk, but Joseph was done. He told Ra he didn't want to be involved with a war criminal. The DNA belongs to the three warlords he killed. And I checked the logs, tracked movements. They corroborate the timeline. I'm just shocked that Ra would attack him like that. We've known each other, but how long? Too long to count. Yeah, I'd like to think if he did instigate the fight with Ra, if he got away from you somehow, you could talk to me. I'd be on your side. We'd work it out. I didn't start the fight, Chris. Even if he had secrets, there's due process. That's why we have tribunals. The diplomatic corps knew who he was. And they still let him represent the Federation. The Federation believes everyone deserves a second chance. What about justice? What about the victims? We've known each other for a very long time. See eye to eye on most things. But you haven't lived my life. You have the privilege of believing in what's best in people. Me? Oh. I happen to know there's some things in this world. I don't deserve forgiveness. Well, that was heavy. So, um, we got some backstory on Mbenga, and apparently he's a war vet of something terrible. And so he he's the butcher because he killed Klingons, not because it, they were killing, the Klingons were killing everyone. So, neat little twist on it in the end there, I thought. Um, I just so they finally called the green stuff by name protocol 12 I kind of wish we would have got a little bit more of it but we didn't uh, I did see <laughs> the one Andorian the the special forces leader that uh, Andorians are one of my favorite in Star Trek and it has a lot to do with Shran uh, so it, it was pretty cool seeing that. Uh, I, I wish we would have got more of those guys actually doing stuff rather than, you know, just bombs going off around them. Uh, although I get I get the point of it because they were trying to show Christine's distress, even though they didn't show a lot of it. I I feel like there's more to her story in that than what they're showing, and we basically got the picture that uh, Doctor Mbenga went and did some stuff and was involved in some stuff before. He was Dr. Mbenga. What they call him, the ghost? Really interesting. And I don't know how every time like the alarm claxton goes off that they don't freak out. You know, because they showed the, the claxton going off like right there in their med area and they were perfectly fine. You know, I mean, PTSD sucks and there are things that set you off and that should be one of them that probably would. That would take... 
that would take him right back to a place that was like, uh, you know, dead people, injured arms cut off, you know, foot throats, you know, the, the stuff they were showing with the Klingons. But solid episode. Uh, I, I liked the backstory. I enjoyed learning a little bit more about Mbenga and why he is kind of the way he is. Uh, pretty solid. Uh, you know, it was his episode. He was my favorite character in it. Every single flashback scene was my favorite. I, I, I'm not going to pick favorite because they were all really good and built on that, the, the whole story. So that's it. Uh, be interested to see how the season wraps up because I don't understand how we're wrapping up a 10 episode season that's episodic without any kind of finale. But I guess we'll see. So thank you for joining. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. Find me on the discords. It's in the description below. Until next time.